Hi guys, what's up? Today I am gonna be testing out some dupes while I am doing my makeup. I ordered some products from Ulta and just went and picked them up this week. And so I'm gonna be trying them out as I get ready. I always get questions on if high-end makeup is worth the price and if it makes that big of a difference to spend that much money. And you know, I think it depends on the products really. I think there's a lot of drugstore products that are way better than high-end products and vice versa, so it really just depends. But I have some high-end products here that I know are very good products. They're very well loved throughout the makeup world and they are very well known. So I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I have the Brow Power Micro Universal Defining Eyebrow Pencil from IT. And then I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. All of these products are like in the $20 range. I will have exact pricing on the screen. So on one half of my face, I am going to be using those products. And on the other half, I am going to be using products that can be bought in the drugstore all under $10, I think. And they are just a way cheaper. I don't wanna use the word cheaper because it kind of like indicates that the product itself is gonna be less quality, but these are way more affordable and people say they work just as well. So I'm gonna put them to the test right here on camera with y'all. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reagan. I would appreciate it if you subscribed to the channel and joined my growing family here. And other than that, we're just gonna get started. The rest of my makeup, I'm just gonna be doing like normal. I have work later tonight, so this will be my makeup for work. For primer, I'm using a newer primer to me. It is the Georgette Klinger Marula Primer. For foundation, I'll be using the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Dragon Beauty Concealer. This is like a color correcting concealer, so it is in a lavender shade. I'm also going to be putting this on my eyelids to color correct those as well. I'm also going to use this L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer just in the problem areas of my skin that I would like to conceal a little more than the others. Now it is time to use and test our first dupe of the video, and it is the setting powder. I already told you on the right side of my face we are going to be using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder, and we are going to be putting it up against the e.l.f. HD Powder in Sheer. Here's the packaging up next to each other. Um, I think that the e.l.f formula looks a little more white and the Laura Mercier formula looks a little more neutral but we will see they're both like a sheer no pigment powder so it shouldn't really make a big difference on my face so we will see once we apply those actually oh my gosh looking at my order receipt here this is actually just the mini product that's why it looked so strange to me in the packaging. It seemed like such a strange, like small little container. But this is actually the small travel mini version and it was still $23, oh my heck. And then the e.l.f. one was only $6. 
uh, let's compare how many ounces they are. So the $23 product contains 0.33 ounces of product and then the $6 powder contains 0.28 ounces of powder. So very, very similar quantities in these products, but a huge price difference. So the Laura Mercier packaging, of course, seems, feels, looks more luxurious. The powder is a bit more neutral, like I was saying before. I am just going to be using a big fluffy brush to take this powder and put it all over the right side of my face. It also has a very luxurious scent to it. When products are really high quality, they have like a certain aroma to them. And I don't know where I've smelled this before, but I have. It feels so nice on the skin. With the first pat, I could instantly see it mattify my skin and take the shine right out. It doesn't make my face look flat and dull, but it definitely does have a little bit of oil control. I can feel it is brightening as well. I don't think that there's necessarily a tint, but I can tell that my face looks brighter and lightened. The formula for the e.l.f. powder is extremely whiter. I have used both types of powders. I have both types of setting powders in my collection right now. I have more neutral shades. I have bright white translucent setting powders. I don't really have a preference, but if you do, I just wanted to make a note of that. I do enjoy how the packaging, how the packaging for this product is much bigger. It's easier to fit my brush in. But with that being said, I can't really hold that against the Laura Mercier product because of course I bought the mini without knowing. Okay, this is gonna go all over the face as well. Instantly, the first thing that I could tell with this product is that it didn't soak in and melt into my skin as easily as the Laura Mercier product did. I feel like this is more just sitting atop my skin and it gives a more powdery finish as where the high end side looks a lot more sunk into the skin, blended in. It looks a lot more natural than this side. I am also noticing with this e.l.f. powder that it's leaving a slight white residue and coloring, shading to my skin. I don't think it would be noticeable except for the fact that it's not on the other side of my face. Uh, so it does have quite a lighter leave behind trace. Um, if you have darker skin tone, that might make more of a difference for you. Honestly, after using these two products, I'm gonna say I don't think the e.l.f. one is a dupe for the Laura Mercier just because of the way that it applied, the way it looks on the skin, and the way that it's wearing on my face. I really love powders that just melt into your natural skin and look flawless and seamless, and that's what I got with the Laura Mercier, whereas I did not feel that same effect with the e.l.f. HD powder. Okay, very next, we're gonna actually just jump right into the next dupe, and that is for my brows. On my right brow, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Defining Eyebrow Pencil. And then on my left eyebrow, I am going to be using the drugstore option or dupe for the It product. And this is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. This is in medium brown. The It pencil actually didn't have shade options and it just says it's in universal taupe. That's honestly what I usually get my pencils in anyways, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem. The price of the It eyebrow pencil 
is $25 while the Maybelline pencil is only eight. So it's literally one third of the price, which is, which is a huge drastic change. I'm gonna get these both out of the packaging. They're both ultra slim pencils. The brown one is the Maybelline and then the aluminum style packaging is the It Cosmetics one. They're both just super sh sharp defining eyebrow pencils. I've been really loving that type of eyebrow pencil lately. I went through the Benefit one. I'm going through the, my Anastasia one right now. It's almost gone, so this is a perfect time for me to be testing both of these out. I hope that one of them works for me. Both of them have a spoolie on one end and then the twist up pencil on the other end. So I am going to start with the It pencil. This one seems so much more durable in my hands. It feels quality and it just, it feels better. You're gonna get that with all high-end makeup brands. They just, they charge more. They have the means to put more into their packaging and everyone loves that luxurious feeling. Okay, well, while I'm twisting this up, it's kind of weird. It is not like a round uh, shape or like a point. It's actually like an oval. If you guys can see here what I'm talking about, but it's not rounded and it's not really like pointed. It's a flat oval shape as a pencil. I don't really know how I'm gonna feel about that, but I'm just gonna get going. I'm just gonna start by defining this bottom line. I really like the pigment that it has. It's instantly giving me color. I don't feel like I really need to go over the same spot much. And the lightest draw marks are making a mark. I mean, okay, this doesn't look good right now, but it's ultra defining. I'm actually really excited about this. I've been really into the brow products lately. I think I've talked about it in a couple videos. It is quite dark. I don't think that I would really say that it's taupe. I think it would be a little bit dark if I still had blonde hair. But, wow. Okay, I really, really, really like this product. I personally think that it would be hard for the Maybelline one to compare and compete with what I just used, but we will see. I hope that I am surprised and that I'm wrong right now. This pencil, just the physical feel of it feels cheaper. And yeah, I do feel comfortable using the word cheaper in that context. Um, also, this is just a normal round pointed pencil. It's definitely dark and defining as well. Um, I feel like I have to put a little bit more effort. The product is not as smooth. It's not transferring as effortlessly as the It pencil was but it's still not bad. I think that they're actually very comparable. And I think the color that I picked, the medium brown for the Maybelline one is a very good shade match for the universal taupe that the IT one comes in. I don't really think that you could tell a difference I think that the main thing really is that this pencil, pencil, this brow looks a little bit more sharp just because I didn't have to sit and brush through it as many times. I didn't have to put so many strokes through it. So it looks a little more sharp where this one looks a little more fuzzy around the edges. And that's just from normal, eyebrow pencil application. It happens with some of my other products as well. Or when I'm just having like a bad brow day and I have to like keep fixing them, keep drawing, keep spooling through them. It just kind of makes those corners and edges not as sharp. And so I'm just gonna go through with my spoolie on this one and just kind of brush through and mess it up a little bit. 
not like mess it up, but like make it a, not as sharp. And I think that it looks very, very similar. I actually, I don't know if I'd say that this is an exact dupe, but I think that they're comparable enough that if you don't wanna spend $25 on an eyebrow pencil, that this one will give you exactly what this one's giving you, just not with the luxury and ease of this high-end brand, but you're paying for that. So if you want that easy application, fast, the sharp lines, and you don't think it's a big deal to spend $25 on an eyebrow pencil, this is the way to go. But I think that this gives the same results, just a little different application is needed. But I would say they are super comparable and it would be you would get the same results and the same brows using this $8 pencil as the 25. So close enough, we can call it a successful dupe. I know that tonight with the outfit I'm wearing to work that I'm gonna be putting on a pretty bold lip stick color. So I don't really want that bold of an eyeshadow look going on today, but I am going to use this ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner in the shade Charmer. And I'm just gonna put this on my top lid, uh, pretty messy, and I'm just gonna smudge it out with an eyeshadow brush. Uh, I, this will be in the same uh, shade range family as my lip color, and I think that it will tie them together cute enough and look really good. That just added a pop of purple to my eyes. It's kind of messy, but I think that that makes it kind of cute and that was what I was intending to do, so it doesn't look perfect, but I think it's still cute. The very last dupe that we are gonna be trying out here on camera is for mascara. On my right eye, I will be using the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara and I will be testing it against the L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise on my left eye. These are like super, super similar and in packaging even, which kind of is like crazy to me. It makes it like seem more of like a dupe because they look the same. So I am excited to try these out. The Too Faced product was $27 and then the L'Oreal product was 11. So not as big of a price difference, but still more than double the price for the high end. Here are the two mascaras next to each other, and this is what I'm talking about. Even the bottles are like the same rose gold shade. So cute. Uh, let's see the amount of product in here. The Too Faced has 0.27 fluid ounces, and the Maybelline has 0.28. So actually, it's not Maybelline. The L'Oreal has 0.28. And so in this instant, the drugstore product actually has more product inside the packaging than the high end. So you are even getting more and paying less, which is just like, makes things even, even, even better. And yeah, uh, I can say that the packaging for this is way heavier for the Too Faced. It is way more durable, it seems more solid, it seems more luxurious, just like every other dupe we've tested in this video. But I am going to test them out nonetheless. So let's start with the Too Faced Better Than Sex on my right eye. I have used this mascara before. I know that it's not my favorite mascara in the world, um, but that doesn't mean it's a bad mascara. I have nothing against it. I think it's a great mascara. I just think that there's better mascaras out there, so that's what I tend to purchase. I think that it applies to the lashes very, very nicely, and it makes them look beautiful even with one swipe of mascara. I don't really see like a giant volume 
or lengthening difference other than what you expect with every mascara. They are tending to look a little fuller than usual. I don't really think of voluminous or longer, but they do look more full. This eye tends to be my eye that has less lashes. I'm not sure why. I've started noticing it and it's driving me crazy. Okay. I think I'm gonna stop there. I have been enjoying less mascara recently. I used to really kind of be into the clumpier mascara look, but I've tended to uh, just put on like a couple layers and go on with my day, and I've been actually really enjoying it. So we're gonna move on with the L'Oreal mascara onto the left eye. The applicator is very similar. I think that the Too Faced one is a little bit bigger, like thicker, uh, but they're the same shape relatively. This consistency seems more flaky, like the product is coming off in chunks more than the product is just like gliding onto my eyelashes seamlessly. Seems a little lumpier. It does seem to be lengthening um, and like drawing my eyelashes out a little more than the Too Faced. Like I think that it actually has, let me get closer. You saw how many layers I put on of each. I have put on way less layers of the L'Oreal product and it is on this eye. And I feel like it is just making my eyelashes pop way more than this eye. Although I do think I like how the product looks on my lashes here better than here. I think that this is making more of a pop on my lashes and more of a difference on my lashes than the Too Faced. So yeah, I almost feel like you only need like one or two coats with this Voluminous Lash Paradise because it's just so darkening, so bolding. It is seriously making this eye just pop huge. It makes this eye look way bigger than this eye. Look at my eyeballs right now. This is just crazy to me. I will say I think that the lash effects from the L'Oreal mascara are way better than the effects that the Too Faced product gave me, which is just blowing my mind that I'm even saying that, but I do stand my ground. I think that the formula, the formulation and how it feels to apply onto my eyelashes and how it looks, I still like the Too Faced formula better. It's more luxurious, it's nicer, you can tell that it's quality, it is very effortless to put on your lashes, it looks natural, whereas this looks more clumpy, it looks flaky, it's giving me a great bold effect to my eye, but it looks more fake, it looks caked on a little bit. I don't think it looks bad at all, but it is not as natural and smooth as the Too Faced. So I don't know if they really are comparable because they're doing different things for me, but I don't think that this L'Oreal Lash Paradise is a bad move at all. It's seriously like half the price, less than half the price than the Too Faced, and it has remarkable, amazing results. So I definitely would recommend it to you, especially as a drugstore product. It's so awesome to find products that are affordable, easily accessible, and have great results. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish up my makeup and then we will tie this all up. For my bronzer and blush, I'm gonna be using the Becca Blushed with Light Trio Palette. I've had this for years. It is well loved.
I'm gonna finish this look off with some highlighter. This is the Naked Illuminated Highlighter in Aura. I'm gonna spray it with the MAC FX Coconut Prep and Prime Spray. And then I'm just going to take a beauty blender and press any excess product sitting on my skin into my skin. Make sure everything's blended. There's no harsh lines or splotches. And we are finished. So guys, I actually am very impressed with some of the products I found today. Um, the Let's just go over the dupes we tested out and I'll give a quick um, conclusion of my thoughts about each of them. So for the powders, I don't think that this is a good dupe match. Um, I think that they're very different products, that they have different um, tones to the powders. I think they lay too differently on your face and I think that the after effect and what it leaves behind on your skin is just too different. Um, I do highly prefer the Laura Mercier over the e.l.f. but for the Laura Mercier you are going to be spending uh, quite a bit more. Uh, this one was four times more than the e.l.f. product and it was a miniature version of the full size. So I'm sure the full size is even more than this. Next up was the eyebrow pencils. I absolutely fell in love with the IT eyebrow pencil. I think that it is so beautiful on the brows and it's just flawless. I think that it is so amazing that it is so easy to apply it and that it's still so bold and defining. Um, I just love the soft formula. Um, and I also just love the uh, packaging. It feels very nice in the hands. Uh, with that being said, I do think that this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil is a dupe and very comparable for the IT product. Although I personally would probably still prefer the IT pencil. I think that the Maybelline is an amazing option for a better price and just as good of results. It might take a little um, extra effort, but it's not much. I think it seems like it takes a little bit more effort because I was comparing it to the IT pencil that seriously is so easy and effortless. I don't necessarily think that as an eyebrow pencil in general that this is harder to use and takes extra effort. I think it just takes a little more effort than the IT one does. But I think that it is very comparable, it has beautiful results, and I would say that it's a successful dupe for the IT one. Last up we have the mascaras and like you guys know, I think that the formulation and the product itself is higher quality in the Too Faced product. I think that it is easier to apply to the eyes. It's sits more beautifully on the lashes and I just really like the look of it better. But I do think that the results from the L'Oreal mascara are a lot bolder, they're more noticeable, and I think that it might just lengthen and volumize and define your lashes a little bit better than the Too Faced. So I don't necessarily think that they are dupes for each other since they do really different um, things. But I do think that the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is a really great find and I'm glad that I tried it out in this video because I really think it's an amazing mascara, especially for the price and being found at the drugstore. Okay guys, that wraps up the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave any of the dupes that you know of and think are true, accurate dupes comment them down below and share them. I would love to try them out. It was actually super fun to research and find these dupes and shop for them, pick them out, and then it was really fun to try them out and film this as well. Um, I think it's cute, especially that the two mascaras even look so similar. I don't know if that was done on purpose um, or if that was just coincidence, but I did think that this was super fun definitely make sure to leave this video a thumbs up on your way out. And other than that, I will catch you in my next one. Bye loves.